In this video, we'll discuss the importance of planning and optimizing your 5G network in 3D. Whether you're doing strategic planning, network design, or optimization, if you want to increase your ROI and reduce subscriber churn, it is critical to plan and optimize your 5G network in 3D. As you know, in many cities, most of the mobile broadband traffic comes from indoor locations. This means that the subscribers are not necessarily at ground level. If you're looking at other 5G use cases, such as massive IoT, or ultra reliable and low latency communications, it is also the case uh, that you have devices that are not necessarily at ground level, but at various heights above ground level. In Planet, which is InfoVista's network planning and optimization tool, you can plan your network and optimize it in 3D. It starts with uh, 3D geodata, including buildings and vegetation. You also have 3D antennas, 3D propagation, 3D traffic maps that can come from network performance data, social media, call traces, and propagation. And you can also optimize your network in 3D. I will now move on to the live video that will show you Planet's uh, 3D capabilities. So I have a network over here in Tokyo, um, as you can see, and uh, it starts with uh, 3D building data. So I can turn the, the layer on or off, uh, as you can see, and then uh, I can move on if you want to see the particular heights of uh, specific buildings, then you can click on the buildings. So this building is uh, 53 meters above ground level. Uh, this one, uh, which is, I think, the Shibuya station is uh, 50 meters above ground level. And this one is uh, uh, 24 meters above ground level and so on and so forth. Okay. Now uh, you can look at uh, specific uh, antennas as well in 3D. So let me open the, the Planet Antenna Editor. This is a, a massive MIMO antenna. And you can look at the, the various patterns uh, for, the, for the different directions uh, in terms of um, tilts and, uh, and, um, and azimuth. Uh, so you can see that it's uh, plus uh, 12, so up tilted by 12, and then 17 degrees on the, on the horizontal side. So in 3D, this is uh, what, it, what it gives you. It gives you a good, a good representation of what uh, the antenna looks like uh, and what you may expect uh, if, you're, if you are to use this antenna and, what, uh, and this particular beam. Uh, so once you've designed, uh, once you've uh, assigned the antennas, propagation models, you can uh, create the predictions for, uh, for your site. So I'm going to select a few uh, buildings over here so that I can show you uh, the, the prediction for uh, site number five over here for, for the base station or the E node B. Uh, and we'll go with the reference signal uh, receive power, so the uh, RSLP for, uh, for, the, uh, for this particular uh, E node B. It's going to take a couple of seconds here to open the the plain 3D viewer, and then you'll see that prediction in 3D on the map. Okay, so I'll go with the, the surface mode, refresh the view over here, and then if you zoom in and out, uh, then you can view uh, what uh, you may expect from uh, that particular site uh, in 3D there uh, for, for the prediction. Uh, I will now move on to uh, an optimization that we did. So I ran uh, two optimizations, uh, one uh, that was done uh, in 2D, and one that was done in 3D. So uh, I considered the traffic at ground level only for, uh, for 2D, and then I ran the second optimization in 3D, so 3D uh, predictions and 3D uh, traffic map. Uh, so I will show you what uh, the RSRP uh, looks like first um, with uh, the prediction where the assumption is that all the traffic is at ground level and, and that the predictions are at ground level as well. Uh, so I'll show you uh, in 3D what, what that looks like. Okay, again, the, the surface mode and, and the color profile, so you can see that the purple um, purple is high, high signal, and, and light blue is uh, lower signal. So if you zoom in, uh, you can see that uh, quite a few buildings uh, uh, it's, um, do not have like a great uh, signal uh, at various heights. Uh, and that's the fact that uh, that's because the optimization was done uh, considering all the traffic um, at ground level and the predictions at ground level. Now, I show you uh, the results of the optimization uh, that was done uh, accounting for all the traffic, so the traffic in 3D and predictions in 3D as well. And now uh, you can see a big difference whereby uh, all the buildings are now uh, well lit, uh, so well covered by, the, uh, by all the, uh, by the cells there. So uh, you can clearly see that uh, 3D optimization makes a big difference. Uh, 